We begin in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Constitutional Court has started hearing a petition which challenges the result of December's presidential election. President Felix Chisekedi was declared the winner, but many opposition candidates say the election was tainted by widespread irregularities. One of the candidates, Theodore Ngoi, in his petition asked the court to cancel the result and order the composition of new independent members of the national electoral body to organize fresh polls, the court will hear presentations from the public attorney before making its ruling. And I mean combined ballots. Combined ballots mean a single ballot. So how can Seni cancel the votes of these people and not cancel the votes of presidential candidates? The case has been taken under deliberation. The judgment in this matter will be rendered before January 12th, as we know that the court cannot go beyond the 12th. For more on this, let's cross over live to our correspondent, Chris Chamringal in Kinshasa. Chris, what's the latest on the election petition challenging the victory of President Chisekedi? Yes, Penina, the Constitutional Court is uh, expected to uh, receive evidence uh, from uh, Mr. Theodore Ngoi, who's the presidential can candidate who filed this petition seeking to overturn the election victory of President Felix Chisekedi. Um, they started hearing the case on Monday and uh, Mr. Theodong Goy uh, presented a very strong case saying that this election was marred by numerous irregularities. He cited the late uh, start of voting, the malfunctioned uh, electronic voting machines and also said that, you know, he had a very large following in this uh, country. His uh, agents in different polling stations had told him that he got lots of votes, but uh, what was announced by the Electoral Commission was uh, very different. So he said uh, the Electoral Commission came up with fabricated figures which are not real, and he wants them to prevent, present all the ballot papers uh, across the more than 70,000 polling stations across the country. He also mentioned that um, there is uh, that the recent uh, decision by the Electoral Commission to cancel the votes of 82 parliamentary candidates is a clear testament that this election was deeply flawed because all the voters in the DRC went to the polling stations and voted at one go. They voted for the president, the national MPs, provincial MPs and the local councillors. And so the fact that the Electoral Commission said that uh, there were some people, politicians, who had the electronic voting machines in their homes is a clear testament that uh, this election should be cancelled. And so he uh, presented that case to the court. The court heard uh, from the lawyers of uh, the Electoral Commission and said that they are going to uh, make their decision before the 12th of this month. Penina? Chris, are there any petitions other than the one filed by Theodore Ngoi? And does it mean the Constitutional Court can render a verdict on the disputed polls if this petition is unsuccessful? Yes, uh, Penina, there's one petition filed by a private citizen, a man called David Mbala. He uh, appeared in court uh, on Monday and said that, uh, you know, the elections were murdered by uh, lots of irregularities in the polling station where he was. He cited uh, very similar uh, statements to what uh, Mr. Theodore Ngoi said, the late delivery of voting machines, the malfunctioned uh, voting machines in certain areas, and uh, the uh, fact that some politicians, especially those from the ruling coalition, the sacred union of the nation, had uh, in their possession uh, electronic voting machines in their homes. He also said that uh, some uh, polling stations were found inside uh, 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 political party offices, which is illegal, and uh, some areas like military institutions also had voting. So he, he presented this case to, to the, the, the judges at the Constitutional Court, but the lawyer of the Electoral Commission said that uh, asked the court to disregard this petition by this uh, private individual because he was not a presidential candidate. Uh, but the court said that they are going to hear, every uh, citizen has a right you know, to present their case. They're going to hear this case, analyze it, scrutinize it, and then make their ruling on, on, uh, before the 12th of this month.